I know, it's great. So one thing I don't think a lot of people know about you is that um, you grew up in the Mormon faith and the Mormon religion. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so yeah, I was raised Mormon. I am not Mormon anymore. I am Buddhist. And um, I, yeah, my mother was, yeah, I just decided not to go anymore because I, there was a lot of guilt trip mm -hmm. in the store, in the church in the store, and um, and I refused to raise my girls with shame and um, and feeling guilty, and I didn't want to raise my girls that being yourself that you couldn't be yourself, you know, yeah, without feeling guilty and things like that. So I was like, no, I'm gonna free them from. I'm gonna free myself from this. Mm -hmm. and therefore, I'm gonna free them by me like saying, no, I'm gonna choose myself. There's nothing wrong with who I am and what I am. No one made a mistake. Yeah. So maybe it's your test that I'm gay. Maybe it's how you're supposed to react to it, not my test. <laughs> okay, so would you say that um, you leaving the Mormon faith, did that happen after you had children? Yes. Okay, so would you say it was actually having two young girls that gave you the strength to say, you know what? I don't want to do this. I mean, I, I was 17 when I had my youngest. Okay. So I was still a child myself. I didn't think back then that, but um, I think being in a really bad relationship with my ex-husband mm -hmm. and then with the church, I had just kind of like fuck this shit and I had it and I'm like, no, I need to move on to something that's going to make me feel good about who I am and where my babies are going to grow up to be, to, so they can feel good about who they are. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't know, if, I mean, I don't know if they were going to be gay or what, like I yeah. had no idea, so I'm yeah. like. Or I didn't want him to you feel You didn't want him to way. feel that way? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's one of the reasons why you are so fierce, right? Is because you lived so long under like this Mormon religious rule, right? That was really inhibiting. And I've seen you like really empower other women when you're talking to them. Just like be like, no, do you, do your best self. Like don't, you know, don't bow down to like, you know, other people or, or yeah. hide yourself, right? Like it's one thing to, to want to, you know, give grace to someone, but like, um, you're, I don't know. I think that that's part of why you are so fierce because you kind of lived so much, so much of your earlier years of your life a little bit more, you know, reserved yeah, and not being able to be who you really are, which is extra, 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 extra. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I did have to learn how to defend myself in a very, very young kid, a child, um, due to sexual abuse mm. and okay. uh, being picked on. And so I had to defend myself all the time. So now that I have a chance, I chose to uh, be positive no matter what. And I am choosing to empower women and children and everyone with um, feminine energy, feminine energy to be themselves. Like nothing, nothing should be able to stop you. Nothing and no one. No thing. So you're, you're an example of, of how, you know, childhood trauma um, can be healed and you yeah. can move forward from it. And it's something probably that is, oh, I think that what some people think is like, okay, I'm gonna heal from something and then I'm gonna move on and I'm never gonna have to revisit it. But I figure that that's not, like you have triggers, different things happen oh and God, like, yes. and it kind of comes up, but you are able to deal with it in a more like peaceful, loving, understanding way. Yeah. When you look at yourself, your smaller version of yourself. For and sure, What yeah. about your mother, like being in that situation, have you, for, do you forgive her for like? Oh my God, yes. Yeah, no, my mother, I mean, who am I to judge anyone? She did. My, my dad left her with 10 kids and I was a baby oh, wow. of 10 and okay. she was the only one. My oldest was my, her, my oldest brother was uh, 17 and she did it all on her own. We came to the United States and thanks to her, I'm here. My girls are here and all that kind of stuff. So I don't judge her. She had Thank to you, do Erica's she had mom. Yeah. Yeah. Señora, yeah. Um, So yeah, no, I, I don't ever, and I'm no one to be judging anyone's mother, nor my own mother, so. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that. It's so beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of who I am. Um, thank you for asking that, Felipe. Now let's move on to Miss Rebel. Oh, wow. Janet is still Rebel. So um, tell us, tell <laughs> us. Yeah, tell us your background really quick. Mom, tell um, kind of Yeah, so I mean, I have a, a, a really wild like background in the, in the sense that like I, I've never chosen one single path to stay mm. on, right? I, I'm very free-spirited, very uh, creative. Um, and so, um, you know, I was blessed with two loving parents 
they got divorced when I was a, a small child, mm -hmm. and that really did affect me. I didn't realize really until I was an adult how much it affected me, oh, wow. um, and how much it came out into my relationships, you know, in, in negative ways, and in ways of feeling like insecure, and in ways of feeling. Taking a divorce. Did yeah, you absolutely, absolutely, and I really understand now. I really have a, a lot, a bigger understanding for one people who get divorced, but also to like people, children who come from divorced families, um, right. in all forms, you know, um, because there's some that are really, really crazy, you know. There's yeah. a lot of abuse and there's a lot of anger, and then there's some that were more similar to mine where my parents didn't fight, but it was still when you're a child, it's still a separation, it's still a traumatic event, right? Right. Um, and I, I, I wanted to do things that, um, as, you know, as an athlete, I was an athlete on the north side, so I experienced a lot of racism similar to you mm -hmm. because I was this brown girl from the west side, and, yeah. and people looked at me like, you know, who are you? Who are you, brown? Yeah, I had a, my swim coach when I was in middle school um, tell me every day that I would never make it onto the team. <gasps> oh, every wow. day I would cry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm it's okay. Asshole. It's okay because you know what? Um, I my first tryout my freshman year, I made varsity swim team. Damn! Because I was like, oh, I'm gonna God. prove, and it, I didn't say it back then, but I'll say it now, like I'm just gonna prove that white guy wrong, right? And so, yeah, I mean, um, but yeah, I mean, I've always, I've always loved to entertain. Yeah. I've always been that little kid that like will walk, go into the living room, and like sing a song or do a dance or like. Nice. I've always been wanting to make people smile and laugh and. and you were practicing for Mangaluna. I was, and I was. <laughs> I love, I love gathering people. I yes. think that's why you know Botanica came as well into my path because I just love having a space. Yeah. And so tell us, yeah, tell us what this beautiful mariposa grew up like. What, it, what, who are you now? Like I, you know, that was you as a child yeah right? but yeah now? who am I now who um, are you now gorgeous woman no I think like I I've always thought of myself as a late bloomer and I see it more and more right like it, as I get older I really I'm getting more comfortable in my own skin mm. you no know, not hiding not I mean there was just so many things in my 20s that I was so insecure about that I just I think about it and I'm like fuck it I'm definitely not gonna be insecure mm -hmm. about those things now um, but yeah I think that I'm a same person but you know I'm a little bit more Anchored, like you said? Yeah, like you, I have you I'm on roots. I'm not okay. I'm like, I'm okay with plantari myself. Right? And for me, my spirituality really comes from, um, I mean, I grew up Catholic. There's a lot of, of things of, of Catholicism that I do love. And, yeah. um, you know, grew up with a lot of family who was, you know, extremely religious. So, um, yeah. But for me, um, you know, I identify, um, and my spirituality really comes from my indigenous side, mm. um, from, you know, from danza, from um, yes. the indigenous, you know, texts and words and songs in order to, to have mine and yeah. to have my spirituality. Of course. Right. This so, to you what Rebo is also a vegan. <laughs> so much passion for her. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. I'm a rancho vegan. That's what it. does that mean? A rancho yeah, vegan? rancho vegan is. Uh, for example, my uh, girlfriend's house and her parents are cooking something. Out of respect, I'm not gonna just. I won't automatically just say no. I don't eat that. I'm a vegan. Got it. Okay. Right. Like, Respectful. or if you're abuela, oh, yeah. or if you're traveling, there's like there's a certain thing that, for me. It, you have to um, sometimes understanding a culture, understanding um, a cuisine, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of some flexibility. It allows us to keep still our identity of being, you know, a brown, a brown, oh. brown person. And keeping your culture still being, got it. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So you do have two moms. You did say one of the I episodes do. in the past. I do. I have two, right? two amazing mothers, two hardcore uh, fun, loving, both amazing artists in their own right, for playwrights to to uh, poets, I mean, they, they run the gamut. They taught me that you can be a Renaissance artist, that you do not have to choose one thing, that you can write, direct, and star in your own play, that you can publish your own book, that you can run a nonprofit, that you can impact, I mean, I, yes. it's like, I. the only, yeah. Yes, yes. thank you, yeah, yes. And it. I have my father, who's an, a mechanic. So how did Botanica come about? I mean, tell us about Botanica. Because I mean, I know, I don't know if everybody knows, but I'm a curandera. And so are you. I would say you are curandera because of what? No, well, I well, do. You're, I, yeah, I, I, I still feel like I have a lot of training to take that, that term. But yes, exactly. I, I, you're allowed to. And also because you also heal through your food, though. You're healing people through your food. So can you tell us a little bit about La Botanic? <laughs> well, I think, again, like I really believe in and certain things becoming your destiny. And my great grandmother was a curandera. She was a midwife here in San Antonio, Texas. Nice. And um, so I think that that lineage, the genetics, uh, the the magic of healing mm -hmm. did pass through. It was at a moment in my life where I was ready for something like Botanica, to have my own business, for it to be around food, for it to even be called La Botanica, right? I mean, but I think if I really go, how, did, how do we get to La Botanica? How do you get here? I have to give props to my abuelita Loli, my great grandmother, who mm -hmm. was, you know, who walked this land. She's um, indigenous uh, Mexican Apache. 
a ah, woman. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's also where I get my strong indigenous roots from. Nice. So. Yeah, great friend. You have siblings, right? I do. I have a older half sister. I have an older brother, and then I have a step brother and a step sister, and I am still the baby out of that mix of siblings. Oh, we yes. have to say, I'm the baby. You're the baby. Oh, that's you why we're so extra. I know. <laughs> I'm extra. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ask what you want to know about us. Some questions. We yeah. want to know. What do you want to know about us? What do you want us to talk about? You know, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Those are where you really can really find us. And you can email us. That's right. Where? At mongolunaxoxo oh, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. <laughs> Yay. That's yeah. where you can find us. Yeah. So like us, follow us, share us. Um, share the videos, us. really. We're not. You know. Not us. <laughs> that is the segment for today since. Um, Felipe wanted to know who we are. So there you are, Felipe. I hope you got you uh, questions answers. If we didn't completely, go ahead and hit us up. Hey, we so. love you. Thank Ciao. you for tuning in.